What's up everyone? Carlo here and today I'm gonna do a gameplay of ZSNES a Super Nintendo emulator a link will be in the description uh, To download the thing unless you unless you already thinking of searching it but yeah Z S N E S yeah, not hard to spell Yeah, basically like that So yeah, so we're so I'm gonna run so I'm gonna so we're gonna test it by starting this off with Super Mario All-Stars, which includes Super Mario World. So yeah, I'm going to press options, which is start button that I mapped on my PlayStation 4 controller. And yeah, so yeah, I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller for this. If I had a, uh, if I get my, jo currently I don't have my Joy-Con controls working with me right now, but that's okay. Anyway, so... Wait, no, I don't want to erase that. So I have my so I have my save file pretty much. And as far as I can tell, I've got you can see Mario running by, passing by, getting Yoshi. So we're gonna do a one player game. And yeah. So we're gonna test this out with with, with a world. And we're gonna just do it with this. I'm gonna do the rest by myself, unless you guys want uh, another, another, um, oh, just you guys want me to do a gameplay, a full gameplay of this, like, if I actually do think of that. And let's test the save options, too. So, yeah. So, yep. Yeah. But, uh, actually, no, let's not test that. Actually, let's, actually, let's do test it. Oh, oops. But anyway, oh, escape. So yeah, uh, it seems that there are even uh, saves too. Video. Let's see what we got here. So yeah, currently it's attempting to change my video mode. So yeah. Actually, on second thought, let's not do that. <laughs> oh, wait, let's not do that. Actually, never mind. Uh, currently, I'm going to get my things saved well. And I'm going to transport a thing, fit the screen. So, yeah, this thing is uh, is much better. You can see the pixels more easily. But anyway, uh, let's get on with it. So, yeah. So as you can, So, as you can see, there are plenty of these. We got devices here. We got options. Wait, miss keys. Oh, I'm gonna make that uh, keypad two, keypad three, keypad four, keypad five. Yeah. So anyway, let's see how well it works. State zero saved. So it's zero loaded, and when I try this, see when I do this. Oh, uh, even even it even it even makes the left stick do the same thing too. So uh, I'm so I set so I set the directional buttons to the the, to the control pad. Yet it's act yet yet it, yet the left stick seems to work too. But I'm gonna use the directional ones because that's how it that's how it because it feels more retro that way. So running pretty well, running pretty smooth too. Okay, and I don't get the look up button. You guys, you could use that for like an SMG4 style kind of film, like uh, you know, for um, yeah. So yeah, but that will be like the future. That would be weird. So yeah, as usual, you got Fire Mario, which ah, oops. But I can always earn. But I can always. Do another try. You know what? Just never mind. Go like a football player. Anyway, let's test this with uh, another game. So yeah. Now basically, you have to make sure the game is paused before you even, before you can even uh, quit or close the window. Anyway, let's try another game. 
Okay, so now we're gonna try out Star Fox 2. But first, I'm going to uh, turn the volume down. And yeah. Actually, no, I'm not. So yeah, not as slow as I thought. And yeah, I'm going to just skip the whole entire thing. And yeah, it runs pretty well, I'll have to say. But anyway, now if you um, wait for a second, the emulator actually seems to run the game pretty smoothly and now while the game itself is not too smooth but but the emulator doesn't seem to ha be having any bugs and the gra and I'm very sure the wire oh, it's the checkboard style wireframe and music is fast wait oh did I take a different kind of did I go to a different route unusual I'm just gonna boost for a bit. So yeah, runs pretty well. And, oh, and pausing is responsive. Do a barrel roll! Ah! Need help? Is that, I can't even tell if that's an enemy. Er, okay, hold on, I'm trying to hurry up. Yeah, bomb, yeah, bomb is the way I can, is, I'm gonna have to do this. Ah! And this runs pretty well. Ah! This is terrible. Oh no. What am I gonna do? Yeah, take that, you, you weird ship. Oh, hello, buildings. Get lost, you fiend! Get lost, you fiend! Yeah, that should be a good impression. All right, I'm gonna hurry. Take that. Oh, was that me? Hope that wasn't me. I could imagine using an arcade pad for this. I if especially that Askewear um arcade pad that was reviewed by GameSack. I, I imagine me using that. Okay, okay, Falco, take, go ahead, take your shot. Ah! Okay, next time we'll just do above. I'll play, I'll play, I'll do this routine in our time. But, anyway, guys. So, oh, checkpoint. I'll play this another time. Let's, okay, yeah, let's try another game. Yep, Mega Man X2. Green Biker Dude getting destroyed. There's even this one that has one hit kills, but that probably um, that probably messes up the another the the fat bot. Also called another boss. Oops. My gosh, that my gosh, that beeping that beep 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 thing is irritating. Oops. Come on, and that's better. There's a beeping sound. They just stopped audio off, so 
You can hear me talking. I think I'll turn it up a little bit. So you, let's just get it over with. So yeah, the thing is, the walls are smashed together like the garbage compactor on Star Wars. Let's see if the um, fat bot thing, uh, guy still works. It's like some guy. It's a, it's a robot, yeah. Okay, let's charge up. Wait for, I'm gonna wait for him to come here. It's gonna be lazy bones. Yeah, he's pretty much done for. Anyway. So, guys. So... Let's test this, so um, we're gonna test this with uh, another game. Okay, so this one I just had to quickly pause, so I would be ready to record. This one is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Turtles in Time for the Super Nintendo. Oh wait, that's obvious because this is a Super Nintendo gameplay test, and this is probably one of the best Konami titles. Of uh, uh, this is definitely got to be one of the best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles titles. Let's skip the intro. Animation color was better. I don't think it matters what turtle you are. I'm gonna be this guy. I like his swords. Let's skip that. And I got those voice part uh, clips correct. Yeah, and currently I do have auto dash on. Oh man, I love throwing these guys. Take that, you! Music is music is captured well. Like I mean, when I, this is captured, when I tried doing this on my, on my older laptop, I I had sound issues. Thankfully, this one is a much more powerful computer and actually it's built for gaming. Well, built a uh, good architecture for gaming, or good hardware, I should say. Oh man, I love throwing these guys. Now, you'd obviously have to take turns in between pizza time, whether who would go first, but you see, usually I'd let my player, because I'd be good, because I'd be good with or about it. But I, but if it was just me by myself, I'd take it anyway. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Yeah, watch out for those buckets, for those that ever play this game. Or for those that, that are about to play this game for the first time. Oh! On the arcade version, uh, Crane, that, that guy, the guy, the guy that's right above there, and the one that's with the laser eyes, he did. He said, "Prepare to die" before he even bothered shooting. I'm just gonna swing these guys. I hate how the how the special attack um takes takes part of your health. It's it, what's what's the point? I mean, it's for difficulty purposes because that's not working. And yeah. So yeah, this game runs pretty well. Oh man, what do I love throwing them. Man, I hate how it does this. But yeah. Uh, this runs pretty well. And um, now I'm going to show you my final results. So what do I think? Pretty good. Pretty much flawless, uh, I'll have to say. I might play more Super Nintendo um, on that emulator since I don't have one and I don't have enough for virtual console just yet. But I'll have to say, pretty good, definitely worth checking out if you have a um, PC um, and if you want to play Super Nintendo and if you don't have the console, I would recommend getting this emulator. Now while there is also the Android emulator, um, SNES 9X Plus, which I have on my Android, I w that one's also pretty good, but either way, well, we're not talking about that. We are talking about ZSNES. Do I recommend using it if you want to play Super Nintendo? If like if you want to emulate Super Nintendo or anything like that for any reason to get an emulator? Yes, I would. As a Super Nintendo it was a very good console. 
And and it, I'll have to say it it had a pretty hard competition with the Genesis, and it succeed and both succeeded pretty well. If you guys want me to do a Genesis one or a PS2 or PS1, N64, NES, Master System, Atari, Jaguar, 3DO, like seriously, or Sega CD, or any of that stuff, or even Atari. Any any retro system possible? Maybe even a Dreamcast, if uh, if I can enjoy it. Well, feel free to let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do another kind of emulator. But anyway, guys, stay tuned.